YouTube fam, it's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, a channel where I ran and I review 2.0. I'm your host, Uncle Tim. Man, there's so many people out here not understanding the fact it's crazy as hell to buy a $700 PlayStation 5 Pro. Why the hell would I buy that? I already got a PlayStation 5. Why would I buy that? Oh, you could trade your old model in and, you know, you have money going towards the PS5 Pro. You know, it got better rendering and, you know, um, the hard drives are bigger, you know, this is this and that's, you know what? It's the same damn system. Did you get, did you create better games for it? No, you still got all those horrible ass games for it. PS5 don't really have no um, system only games, man. You know what? And the games ain't even that stellar. You know, a lot of people who have a digital PS5, they download games. Some people even jailbreak the damn PS5 and just make it a universal damn system, man. You know, I'm looking at all of this, man, and I'm looking at the fact, why would I shell out money when a system is on its last ass legs? Really? Come on, where's the common sense in that? You made it whereas you didn't have enough of PS5s during the pandemic when you could have just had way more than what you had in homes now. I know it broke records, don't get me wrong, but man, if you would have had the actual system, you could have did something that was phenomenal, some shit that was never seen before. But you know what? They didn't listen to anybody. You know, you should have had that stuff and shipped it to the U.S. and put it in warehouses here. Oh, no, we don't got the chips and we don't have, you know, the parts to make them. That was a damn lie. They had all that stuff overseas, but they didn't ship it. And, you know, it really hurt their bottom line. They were over there crying. Now you're trying to make up money because your bottom line looking funny by selling a system that's 700 and what, 30 in one place, 750 at another. Dude, I'm not buying that. That's stupid as hell. Now, the thing is, I don't understand. Just better graphics, better rendering, you know, it's more powerful at core, you know, it has, um, a uh, bigger hard drive, one trillabyte, two trillabyte. Man, you need to do more than that. That motherfucker need to tuck me in at 750. It need to tell me it's going to be all right. It need to be in there stirring the damn stew. It, it, it needs to be taking the damn trash out. It needs to let my mama know that, you know, I'm doing good in life. It needs to let somebody know something. But for 750, man, oh, come on. Dude, in this economy, in this market right now, 750 for a damn console that's been out for what about five damn years oh come on you know what <laughs> 700 and something dollars for an old ass system that you can get for 300 they trying to get you to trade the old system in because those old systems got something i guess they need but you know what the value when you trade this stuff in you're not getting anything for it too much so why the hell would you trade a system in if the system right now is three or four damn hundred dollars? You not don't get that much of money for that damn system. And you telling me I'm going to buy 700 and something? Oh, man, come on. See, this is what Sony really, really missed the market. This is dumbass on a whole nother level. That's going to bomb. Ain't nobody buying no $750 console and the market is so fucked up right now. The economy is jacked up. Inflation is through the roof. People don't know where the hell they next penny or dollar coming from. They don't know where the next meal coming from. And you trying to convince them to buy a system that really don't make no damn sense. It ain't doing nothing better than the original, really? Shit, you still got shitty games. You ain't did anything different. It is it gonna make the games look a lot better? The games are horrible. And I'm serious. And you like, but Unc, you got the PS5. Yeah, I got the digital version. The gangster version. The version that you could actually go online and buy games for and not even have to use anything. You know, every time they tell you a system is backwards compatible, shit. You know, that's, that, that's just like talk. Dude, everyone's looking for you to drop the damn price, not raise the damn price. Again, at this time in its life cycle, whereas it's nearing the end, this system should be somewhere around 200 damn dollars. 
It shouldn't be going for 700. You done jacked the damn price up and got people thinking, oh, it's new and improved. No, it's the same shit. It's just looking smaller now. I don't want that. Oh, you got two controllers, you get this. Man, hell no. No. Miss me with that. This was a dumb move. This was Sony slipping because they trying to make up for money that they lost when they initially did this. Man, you know what? Switch whooping their ass. Hell, the Xbox Series X is whooping their ass. And I know y'all like, uh-uh, Sony PlayStation 5 is the number one system and this, this. I get it. But I'm talking about when you talk about affordability. Ain't nobody trying to pay that damn much for anything right now. Why the hell would I pay a car note? You know, somebody's rent in a lower area. You know, like, what the hell am I thinking, man? You know, like, you sitting there thinking that's the light gas water gar garbage shit you know like you sitting there your internet shit your cell phone all of that's in there and you just sitting here thinking like what the hell was they thinking they weren't thinking and they don't care about us dude you know what if you're talking about a money grab that's the biggest damn money grab i ever seen you could take it or leave it these are just my thoughts and my opinions you know i'm not telling you not to buy it but i'm not I'm not going to trade the one I got in for that. For what? It don't do shit. It's the same shit. Make it make sense for me. You know, I'm not that smart of a man, so make it make sense for me. I'm real. Make it make sense for me, fam. You got to let me know where I'm missing up at. You know, shit. I'm man, look, I'm, I'm at the point now where I just want to tell everybody, ah, man, please. But to later, fam, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.